the police must not only stand with justice for George Floyd, but, also support police intervention laws, requiring officers to intervene, when rogue officers commit police brutality. That was. I am disgusted with the things that happened in Minneapolis. Pure point blank, things could have went way different. At the end of the day, let's talk facts. Guy is on the ground, he's laying on his stomach, he have handcuffs on. It's four of y'all, one of him. Four of y'all, one of him. Who has control of this situation? As an officer, you are a first responder, right? So if in the midst of you trying to gain compliance, someone is hurt, you have to render aid. So somebody saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You don't think to yourself and say, oh my gosh, this guy can't breathe. He might die. If I see wrong happening, wrong is not happening in my presence, right? I'm going to check it. And that's period. The George Floyd murder has spurred a lot of protest and debate. but. Where are we today? Not far enough. Listen, there are several objectives that need to be accomplished, in order to make real police reform. To get this accomplished, we can't put our eggs in one basket. There is a bill in Congress, that yes we need to push for. But, in every city, county, and state, the same laws, can be passed in the meantime. Step by step, brick by brick we need to tear down the resistance to change. What should change include? For one, a ban on choke holds. Two, a national database for rogue police, to prevent rehire. Three, a ban on no-knock warrants. Four, an end to qualified immunity. Five, mental health officers for calls for the mentally distressed. And six, defunding of the purchase of military equipment by police departments. Lastly, known as police intervention laws, good officers must be held accountable, if they don't intervene against rogue police, protecting the innocent until proven guilty defendants. Like, subscribe, comment. Oh, and yes, police unions need to be scrutinized for their unwavering support of rogue police, and the harm they do. This collective support, maintains an institution set up from the vestiges of Jim Crow.